Hey guys, it's Liddy here from LE 3D Printing, and today I'm going to be checking out and reviewing the Polymaker Polisher. So, let's get started. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoy my channel and my videos. Please do not forget to go down below and subscribe, and definitely hit the like button at the end of this video if you do enjoy it. So, starting off, Polymaker sent me their awesome new polisher. Now, this has been out for a while, uh, but I really wanted to show you guys this awesome machine and what it can do with their really cool Polymaker Poly Smooth um, PLA filament. So, I will be using their Poly Smooth in this video, but I will make a separate review video on it um, just to show you guys a little bit more in detail about the filament. But this video will more be about their actual polisher and how it works and how really awesome it is. So I'm super excited to start this video for you guys. So let's start off with the unboxing. So starting off just opening the box, um, there wasn't a lot of packaging, but there it had a good amount of padding. Um, it just comes with a couple things, um, a little white box, an accessories box, and um, the actual machine. So this is the machine, the quality looks amazing, um, and it is very, very clean, and um, I'm definitely excited to open it and start looking at it. Um, as you can see, here's the display box. Um, opening up the accessories box, this is just a small little box that actually came with it. Um, a lot of um, printers come like this also, and this was packaged very nicely in this um, plain cardboard box, and it is labeled, everything else is labeled also. Um, so opening it up here, we have a couple things in here. Um, first, these are um, just the little tray things for uh, the, the cover of the area where you put your rubbing alcohol. Um, there's one for during the process and one for um, after when you are not using it. And then this package is um, the plates. It actually comes with two plates, which is very nice. So if one gets destroyed or something, you can replace it. Um, these are the front and back. It's very smooth and um, the little top parts are pointy and grippy so they can actually hold your print and finally here these are the little um, vaporizing parts that actually um, spit out the alcohol vaporizer um, and then this actually plugs in into the machine and I'll show you guys a little bit later but it's very nice that they give you a backup one in case the other one gets really old um, or stops working. Next off here in this little white package um, is our power supply or power cord. Mine already has the US plug-in on it but what is very nice is they come with all these multiple different plugins. You just buy the machine and it comes with um, different plugins so that you don't have to order a separate one um, which I think is really nice and a smart idea. And finally this is the last box and this is like a pipette, a giant pipette for um, taking the alcohol out of your alcohol bottle and putting it into the machine. It is a nice clean pipette and definitely will be used. Here is the manual and this is all the different um, steps in there. Uh, it shows many many different things. Um, we can just check it out here real quick but when you guys get it you can read more in detail and it definitely gives us instructions. Here it lists all the things that come in your package. Um, it'll tell you everything. Um, if you're missing something you will know because it'll let you know in this booklet and then here's what the machine looks like. Next, uh, these are all the steps to get your machine ready for the smoothing and it just shows in pictures um, so if you don't want to read it you can basically just follow the pictures. Super simple and easy. Um, and next here it also shows you more, uh, these are more steps of putting your print in there and getting it ready um, and then getting the timer ready. And then these are just the final couple pages and what is nice is they also do give a lot more detail and if you have any questions there are a lot of help in the booklet and then there is a Chinese version. And so now we can just plug in our machine and turn it on and get it ready. So you just press the front button, um, it turns blue and the, re the way to shut it off is to hold it um, but then here we just press the open and close button to lift up the tray. So here we'll just lift up this um, clear part. Now this does not come off so you do have to hold it. 
um, and now we will put in our alcohol, our rubbing alcohol. And here is where we put in our nebulizer. Um, that is the little uh, little thing that we got two of. And then this is where the gate style uh, cover will go. And for now, we're just going to put the cap back on. Um, and then we can get everything else set up for smoothing. So now we just put the um, platform, just one of them, on the top here and then we can just close our machine back up. So now this is the Polymaker Poly Smooth Filament. Um, the packaging is really nice and again I will go in more detail um, of this filament later in another video. Um, but the packaging looks really cool and is way different than the other Polymaker PLA that I've actually reviewed. Um, they have a cool little sticker here uh, and the packaging on the actual spool of filament is very, very vacuum sealed. So the filament will most likely be very dry and that is what we like. So looking at this, we are using the green today and uh, it tells you all the settings on the front and this is a 750 gram spool of green poly smooth filament. So now we'll just put it on the printer and um, purge the filament and then now we can set up what we're going to print. So what I'm going to print today is just a Maui. Um, I believe I kept it at 12% infill, two perimeters, um, four top layers and two bottom layers. Just my normal speeds on my TiVo flash um, and I printed it at 210 degrees on the nozzle and 60 degrees on the bed. So here it is, um, it printed very, very nicely. As you can see here, it's very shiny. Um, and you can barely see the layer lines um, right away here. Uh, and now we're going to set up our polisher. So what you're gonna need is 70% isopropyl alcohol or 90%, um, the higher the better. Um, and now we're gonna press the open and close button once again to bring up the actual uh, platform so we can put our print on it and we can fill up our little register area with those isopropyl alcohol. So we're just going to take the little cover off um, and then I actually um, like to pour mine in there and what you want to do is fill it up to the little line you can see uh, right back there. It's a little white line and that is the top of the nebulizer so you want to fill it all the way up to there um, and if you do a little bit more I'm sure that doesn't matter. Um, but as you can see, I'm pointing right back there. That's how tall you want it to go. And now we can put that back on. Make sure you put that on so that it does not all get used right away. Um, and so now we're just going to put our print inside and we are now ready for the smoothing process. So all you have to do is turn this knob here. Now each color is five minutes and um, then it will start vaporizing and as you can see here um, I set mine for 15 minutes um, and then I did actually go back and do five more minutes because it says 20 minutes is best um, but depending on how big your print is. So now as you guys can see um, the smoothing is finished and all we have to do is press this button here the open and close button and it will now lift your actual um, smooth out print. All right, so as you can see here, it is smooth. Um, I can still see a little bit of lines, but what we're gonna do is just check it out a little bit up close. Um, and the way to get this out is there's two little handles on the side of um, our tray here. And I'm actually just gonna grab one and just lift it out. And now we can set it on to our table. All right, guys, so here is our uh, smooth print. Now, as you can see, it is very glossy um, and there is still some alcohol um, on the plate but we'll just take it off here and the first thing I wanted to check out was if the bottom has been um, poked or indented by these little spikes here and as you can see it definitely hasn't nothing has changed um, and it still looks very very smooth just like it came off of the build plate um, and I can already feel that this has lost a lot of its layer line um, this it is very very smooth but as you can see you can still see them very very well so I think I'm actually going to put on there for another 25 minutes or so 
Um, but just depending on how big your print is and what size layer quality you printed it at is going to depend on how long it will take to actually um, smooth it out. And again, I am using 75% alcohol percent isopropyl alcohol, so that ice, that might also have something to do with it. I might pick up some 90% to try get a better um, end result. But overall, this has definitely smoothed it, and I think that this is a really cool feature to have in your printing studio. Um, and the only downside to me, I think, would be that you have to buy this polysmooth filament. It would be really cool if PLA would just be naturally dissolved in um, isopropyl alcohol. But um, that's totally fine. I like their filament. Polymaker makes some great filament. And I think it's definitely worth the money because the quality prints out very, very nice. But we're going to put this back on there for about 25 more minutes. And then we will come back and see um, what the difference is. Alright, so 25 minutes later, um, as you can see, this is definitely way more smoother than the other one. So I'll put a uh, comparison pictures right here of what these uh, look like side by side. From 20 minutes to 45 minutes, um, a comparison of uh, which would be better. And as you can already see, um, the 45 minutes is way better. And uh, the only downside of doing something very long um, in big uh, time zones instead of doing five minutes and five minutes and five minutes individually and letting it dry in between is as you can see right down here there is kind of a drip mark and uh, you don't really want those on your prints because the quality will go away um, now this isn't dry yet so that's why I haven't touched it but again the drip mark down there um, and then everything else looks pretty smooth to me the back of the head still looks like it needs some more smoothing, um, but that also could be fixed with my printing settings. Um, but other than that, everything else looks great. So let's flip the camera around and we'll talk a little bit more about um, these prints. All right, so first off, what I wanna say is so far this machine has been very, very easy to use, um, very user-friendly and super simple to basically plug in and uh, start polishing um, just in a couple simple steps. Um, and it is very fast um, and one other thing I wanted to mention is this machine is very very quiet so I could leave this in my own room and let it uh, vaporize and smooth the print and I wouldn't even notice it is there um, it is very very quiet and that is a very big plus of having a machine like this um, its size in a room in a working room or an office um, being quiet is a very very big plus um, what I also want to talk about is how this actually works so like I mentioned earlier um, normal PLA is not alcohol dissolvable and that is what makes uh, Polymakers Polysmooth Filament amazing is it is alcohol soluble so that means it will dissolve in alcohol and that is basically what we're doing here just like ABS would dissolve in acetone this is basically the same thing but alcohol is less toxic and um, these and this filament is as easy to print as PLA so basically you're getting a um, easy to print PLA that is smoothable which is very awesome because this machine definitely um, ups your um, printing and makes your prints look more professional and really awesome. Another thing is that this um, polisher makes your prints extra extra strong and also watertight. Um, so say you wanted to 3D print a mug, this filament is great for that because you can smooth it and then it will be completely watertight um, and very safe. Um, no bacteria would be able to grow in the layers or inside of the actual print. And that saying, I am going to be making another YouTube video on um, actually smoothing out and printing with this poly smooth filament some awesome arms and hands, my prosthetics, um, and then smoothing them out uh, once again on this awesome machine to show the really nice quality you can get on actual big prints and um, smoothing these these prints out, the arms and the hands, will definitely prevent bacteria from forming inside the actual um, molds or the actual models um, and it will be very smooth on the skin so it will get rid of all of the bad or scratchy areas on um, the prints if they did not have the greatest quality and also uh, once again I will be creating another review on the actual filament so there will be many many videos using this really cool machine 
Um, and then I will be actually making some little models with my 3D pen with this filament and smoothing it out and seeing how that goes. So definitely stay tuned for many new videos on um, this machine and everything you can actually do with it. One thing I will have to do in the future is 3D print and design some little stands for different size models for this actual machine. So as you guys know, the print that I printed had a flat surface on it. Um, but for example, like the prints for my hands or um, the arms, they will be longer and bigger. So I will have to print some kind of stand to put onto the platform and to rest the actual print on. And now those stands will have to be printed in my normal PLA so that um, the prints won't, have, won't stick to the actual stands. Um, so I'm not really sure how I'm going to do that yet, but that will be in more videos um, along in the future on my channel. But definitely you will have to print some little stands for your different size and different shaped models. So overall, this is probably going to be one of my favorite machines. Um, and again, I think this is very awesome. It will definitely help with some bigger models or some more fine detail models for painting um, instead of having to go through this long process of spray painting and filling and other things like that. So again, there will be so many more videos on this machine and having to do this machine, I will most likely be using this every day, smoothing my prints out, making things look nice, and experimenting in more ways how to use this machine. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for staying tuned. If you are here at the end of the video, thank you so much for watching. And please do not forget to go give this video a like down below. We are growing this channel very fast. We are almost to 3,000 subscribers. And what we need to hit now is 4,000 watch hours and that is very difficult to hit and I believe we have 2,500 so we're almost halfway there and um, I'm really looking forward to hitting that next goal with your guys' help. I did actually create a playlist of all my videos and one thing to help with getting those watch hours is just to leave that playlist on and it will watch all my videos so if you can do that that would be a great help um, but if you guys want to learn new things definitely go check out all my other videos. I'm getting more and more things to review on this channel and hopefully we will be 3D printing with the Neurus, the TiVo Neurus, the brand new 3D printer, the dual color one. Hopefully we will be reviewing and printing with that sometime soon, maybe next month, um, but I'm definitely looking forward to that and reviewing lots more filament for you guys and lots more 3D printing um, tools and awesome projects. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Links to everything will be down in the description below. Don't forget to go click on them and go follow and uh, like me on my Twitter and my Instagram and subscribe. See you guys. Bye.